Okay, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate this circuit um, by building it and, and letting it run in a in a real processor. So just like in the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and put the pump motor on there. This is the easiest way to make something happen. We want the pump motor to turn on. And uh, there you go, the pump motor's on. Now how do we bring in our, our low and high sensors to turn this on and off at the right time? So we'll go ahead and edit it. We know that we want the uh, pump motor to turn on when the low sensor is made. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. And then we'll toggle this and turn on the motor. So control T. And when the low sensor is made, the pump motor turns on. The problem is, is when the the level starts coming up, the low sensor won't be made. The pump motor will turn off immediately. So we need something to keep that going until it makes the high sensor or reaches the high sensor. So we'll just go ahead and drag that relay over in an, on an examine of closed instruction on a branch circuit. So now when the low sensor turns on and off, uh, the pump motor will stay on. Now we just need a way to turn that pump motor off because it's on indefinitely unless we come in here and start toggling bits. So we'll go ahead and bring another instruction, this time examine if open, and we'll call it the high sensor. So when the high sensor is made, it turns that circuit off. This is the most common used circuit in ladder logic. It's just a simple latch on, latch off circuit. You can use this with sensors, start buttons, whatever the case. So there you have it.